So what we're going to do here is we put, those aren't actually wheels we put in there. So if we spent time coloring them, that's not really going to do anything. They are going to be our wheel wells. So we have got to cut them out. We're going to start playing with the combined, which is the subtract. So I'm going to go up here first under the combined, go over to subtract and click on it. You click the one you want to keep first. So I want to keep the car. Now I'm going to hover over the wheels. I'm going to click the one wheel, hold down shift, click, 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 enter. Now we've got ourselves. No. Can we do it again? Okay. Shh. Bottom right here. Also, some problems that some of you may be having, if you go to hit the home key and it doesn't bring you to a view of a nice big full image of your car, you might have a wheel floating off in the distance over here that you just whipped out into La La Land. Although you forgot about it, the computer doesn't. So you have to delete that and then go back to home, okay? So get to bottom view. We're gonna go up under combine, subtract, click the one you wanna keep, click the wheel, one wheel, then hold shift for the remain, re, remaining three, enter, wheel wells. Press enter. Let's go. Let's now we're going to want to go to the top. Okay, here's one thing. Hopefully you have some form of an idea of what size you made your wheel wells. If you made like the radius of 10 or whatever the radius was in there, if you have some clue and remember it, that'll help this whole process. If not, it'll be a little difficult, but it just means a little trial and error. So we're going to go to the top view, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some circles. And I have absolutely no idea what I did for a tire size. So I'm going to start with one. Mine's different. Ooh. One. Enter. Check. All right. Is one going to work? Uh, it's not ideal, but it'll be fine. Okay. So we're going to take this. Go to my settings, and I am going to extrude. I don't know. I'll go 2.25 for mine. Oops. Point. 2.5. Oh, that's that's way, way too big. How do you get the settings? This way. Enter. Now I can pull this over here. Made one tire so far. Oh, I'm gonna stop the recording and come around. Should we do it one more time? Yes, please. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Up on top, sketch. Sketch a circle. Click where you want to draw it. I want to draw it here. I drag my circle. Get it to the size I want for my tire. That looks nice. Okay. Now, I have to hit the green check. Now I click on the circle, and the little gear pops up. And I go to extrude. I pull it to the thickness of the tire I would like. And hit enter. Now I can if I need to. Move that over. Yep, sketch. 
Yes. Circle. Now, you, there's a couple ways of doing it. I like to do it where I place one tire and then cut and paste them like I did with the uh, wheel wells as opposed to making four tires and trying to place them all individually. That That's not cool. So I'll show you that here in a second once everybody gets a tire their habit. Okay, we're going to put our tire in place. There's a couple ways you can do this. Some work better than others. So we're going to go with the way I just kind of discovered. I'm going to give it a close line up here. I'm going to click it again. I'm going to go to my move tool. So right now I got to do some rotating. Got to get it standing up. So make sure it's imperative that that's 90 degrees. Good. Then I want to rotate so I can get a little different view because I got to turn this this access here to 90 degrees as well. Then I can hit enter. Okay, that right now oops, is facing appropriately. I'm going to click on it again. Start moving. Has to go up somewhere in there. Rotate it this way. Slide it in there-ish. Get another look over here, too far forward. Good. Let's see what it looks like from the bottom. It needs like, looks like it could go in a little ways. I'm gonna take one final look before I call it good. Make sure from all angles it looks like the way I want it. Excellent, then I'm gonna hit enter. Then I'm going to do, go to my bottom view, just like I did with my wheel wells. So I'm going to click it, control C as in cat, control V as in violin. I'm going to move it across, line it up the same, enter, it's highlighted green, shift, good, control C, V, I got two of them to drop in the back. Notice how I'm using the arrows to move them. Do not move it by this center white dot. The arrow allows it to slide straight on a plane. If you grab the dot, it mm -hmm. can move in all different directions. Can you help me? This is yeah, well, I don't know what it is. It's good for you. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm getting stressed. Stress is good.